Hello everybody. Right, okay, so next up we are going to show you how to load a base map on. So let's say you got your ECU, you bought it from a dealer, it was locked, you've unlocked it via the dealer, fantastic. Now you want to load a base map onto it. So again, you're just going to open up your um, software here. Okay, uh, click on file at the top. You're going to click on open. Now, when you download the software, you get a whole bunch of these maps as built in because obviously they have a whole bunch of extreme plug-in ranges, etc., etc. So effectively, what we're going to do now is we're just going to pick the maps. So let's say you send it to you. You can go and save it into there and you can find it from this. So in this case, I'm just going to literally click on extreme default map. I'm going to click open. Now, obviously, as it says, select yes to open the file and download the settings to the ECU or no to disconnect the ECU before opening the file. Now, in this case, we want to obviously load this onto the ECU itself. So we are going to click yes. So it's downloading data to the ECU. Okay. And then it's going to store to your ECU and go through that. And boom, there you go. Now you've got and uploaded your base map that they sent to you. So now you can start going through and checking everything and seeing exactly what it is they've got set up for you there. All right. But that's really nice and simple. It literally is as easy as that. That's how you would open up a set from there. So again, I would recommend that if somebody sends you a map from there, yes, you can load it. If you're looking to get the base map just to have the physical sort of, you know, ignition and fuel tables, etc., just make sure that they are going to be relevant for you. Now, what I mean by that is depending on exactly how they are configured. So for instance, on this particular case over here, if we go to say fuel setup and we go fuel main, Okay, well, it's actually off. But as we discussed in our other sections over there, what you're going to basically have is the different way in which they work out the fueling. So, for instance, traditional, okay, uses a master fuel, so 15 milliseconds. So, in other words, if you look at your VE table, uh, 100 would be 15 milliseconds of injector opening time. Okay, that's one way of doing it. It's kind of an old, it's an old-fashioned way, hence it's called traditional. So, let's say if somebody sets up a map in traditional, all right, you can't take a map that's set up as a modeled one and expect the numbers to be the same. Because the difference between traditional and modeled is effectively your modeled one is using all of the data from the ECU. So you see all of a sudden now, it's asking you how big is the engine? Um, is your fuel system, you know, is it map reference? Is it a return list? Have you got a fuel pressure sensor in there, etc.? So you'll see that effectively all of those disappear when you go on traditional. So if you look at the VE table, and if you go to fuel table over here, these values over here, if they've been set up in traditional mode, they are completely irrelevant if you're in modeled mode. So always be very, very careful as to exactly how it's set up. And obviously, all your injectors and everything are set up. So for instance, if you have a modeled mode, okay, and you change your injectors, you could effectively just go in and change the injector information from there okay and then on the modeled mode because you're working on volumetric efficiency if you change the injectors but then you tell the ecu that they're slightly bigger etc then it can compensate for that whereas on a traditional model if you go ahead and you have 350 cc injectors you reach the maximum of your power now you want to upgrade to 550 cc injectors you've got to go change the whole table because the whole table in the VE table only relates to it's what's well, not a VE table it's a table that dictates how much percentage of 15 milliseconds is your particular thingy so in other words if you change the injectors all of those values are going to change okay so these are just a few things you must be careful of if you get someone who sends you a base map because you want to use the numbers that are on there but your one is 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 mapped in traditional and theirs is mapped in modeled those numbers in the VE table are going to be completely irrelevant. They're not going to make any sense to your system whatsoever. And again, if you go in a traditional sense and you take a map from someone who's got a thousand CC injectors and you've got 350 CC injectors, again, it's going to be irrelevant. Okay. You can change the master to try and get it as best you possibly can, but obviously that's that's where you're going to end up with. So again, those are sort of things with Link you do need to make sure that you are aware of before you start taking base maps and just start loading them up and going from there. Okay. But yeah, hopefully that's been helpful for you guys. Uh, it is a very quick and simple procedure to actually load the base map. Getting it to fully work is another thing altogether. But yeah, that is effectively how easy it is. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again later. Bye-bye.